If you need to give money back to a customer, there are two methods in the gateway available to you, a void and a refund. And there's an important difference between the two. A void is essentially a cancel action. You're saying, I don't want to collect this. And this means that you can only do this transaction type before settlement on that transaction. A refund, however, is indicating I want to do a whole new transaction where I give money back to the customer. And this transaction type is usually done after settlement has occurred, or it can be done any time before settlement. So even before you have received the funds, you can run a refund. Typically, if you can do a void, you want to do a void just to minimize the number of transactions your customers see on their account. So I'm going to click on the void link. And what I see is just a transaction ID. We just need to know what transaction do you want to void. If you have the transaction ID, you can paste it in right here, but I don't. So I'm going to click the magnifying glass to search, and I'm going to do a quick search here. And okay, so I see these two transactions on my account, one for $10, one for 20. I remember it's the $10 one that was just earlier today that I want to void. So I'm going to click on that transaction ID, and up here in the gray bar, I see some actions I can take. And the first one is void, so I'm going to click that. When I hit void, I'm taken back to the void screen where I have the transaction ID auto-filled. And if I click void, it's been voided. And I get a new status of transaction type card void, and now these funds will not be collected. But what about a refund? Let's try one of those. I'm going to click refund. And again, I'm taken to a screen where I am asked for a transaction ID and also an amount. I don't know the transaction ID. If I, could, if I did, I could paste it right there. But I don't, so I'm going to go back to my reports. And I'm going to refund this capture that I just did. I'm going to click on the transaction ID. And as you can see, the void option is there. But I'm going to do a refund. When I click that, it auto-fills the transaction ID for me and the full amount of the transaction. Now let's say I don't want to refund the entire amount. That is absolutely possible, so I'm going to refund $15. I want to keep $5 from the customer. I can send an email receipt if I'd like. This will send it to the customer. And when I hit refund, this generates a new transaction. It's a card refund, and I can see negative $15. So $15 will be going to the customer. Again, just like any other transaction, I have the option to print, email, add to vault, or create a subscription.